Hello, in this video I will share 8 quick tips for new Affinity Photo users. I hope these tips will help speed up your workflow. Let's get started with the first tip. Scrubby sliders. Let me first enable some layers so I can demonstrate the scrubby sliders. Scrubby sliders means that you can click on the label and move the mouse to adjust the value of a slider instead of opening the slider itself. I use it a lot with the opacity value in the layers panel. It also works with slider values in the toolbar like the brush size, the flow and the hardness. Keep in mind that it does not work in all places in the application. For example, it does not work with sliders shown in dialog windows. Related to this, we come to the next tip, scrubby blur radius. When you are applying a blur, like a Gaussian blur, instead of moving the radius slider in the dialog, you can click on the image and move your mouse to adjust the radius. One main advantage of this method is that you can go beyond the maximum value in the dialog. Another advantage is that when you are using a directional blur, like the motion blur, it also changes the angle according to your mouse direction. Using the opacity scrubby slider to change the opacity is handy, but using shortcuts to change the opacity is much faster. Once you have a layer selected, press Ctrl 1 for 10% opacity, Ctrl 2 for 20% opacity, and so on. Ctrl 0 puts the opacity at 100%, however pressing Ctrl followed by two presses on the 0 will put the opacity to 0%. Here is a bonus tip for you. If you hold the Ctrl key and quickly tap two numbers, for example 2 and 5, Affinity will set the opacity to the given value, 25 in this case. Definitely a time saver. While we are on the subject of shortcuts, let's move to tip number 4, zoom shortcuts. Command 1 zooms to 100%, Command 2 to 200% and 3 and 4 zooms to 300 and 400%. But the one I use most is Command 0, which fits the image on the canvas. Related to this, you can use the key combination Command Alt 0 to zoom to the width of the image. Another great shortcut is used in our next tip. By holding the ALT button while clicking on a layer in the layers panel, we'll reveal the contents of this layer and hide all the other layers. This is useful for example to view the mask you're working on or just to temporarily separate the layer. When you click on another layer, everything will be shown again. While making selections, you can use the Q button to enable Quick Mask. The Quick Mask puts a red overlay on everything not selected, giving you a visual feedback on what exactly has been selected. If you want to hide the marching ants, you can use the Show Pixel Selection in the View menu to turn it on and off. If you want to use this feature a lot, you can assign a shortcut in the preferences of Affinity Photo. Our final tip is the ability in Affinity to quickly duplicate a layer by holding the command button and dragging a layer. I use this a lot for text layers. You can even select multiple layers. It will duplicate the selected layers. Keep in mind that this only works on visible layers, which makes sense of course, as you are selecting something you see when you click it. I hope you liked these tips and until next time.